Hi everyone, Hello. Hello Diaries. How are you? Sparkle and Chai. Here we are, and drinking wine. drinking wine. Tonight we're drinking a little repeat, but you know, Nimble Hill, Niagara. It's always a good, it's always a good wine. Love it, it's not bad, mm -hmm. we really enjoy it. Nope. And uh, tonight we have a little Led Zeppelin playing. Woo! Doing a little Stairway to Heaven tonight. <laughs> Yeah, we just we, we have a story we want to tell because we've been telling stories that are pretty funny, I think, and, yeah. and you know, being silly a little bit. But one of the stories we want to tell is is um, how much we mean to one another, our group, our, our group, our the circle WGT, of girlfriends, the circle of girlfriends, and, and how and, much. And when something serious is happening, it's um, amazing. It's yep, yep. So what, we have we have a, a story to that. So I'm going to start. start it. And what happened was it was a uh, it was. Uh, Four years ago in September, September 28th, it'll be four years ago, and it was the 27th. I was on a Sunday. I went to my visit my friend Diane, her Hi daughter's Dan. baby shower. Hi, Diane. <laughs> her daughter's baby shower, and we were there at her house, had a great shower. It was a baby shower, and I had wanted to take the Monday off, but my boss was closing on his house, so I had to be back in the office by 1, and I was a little annoyed because I would have liked to have not rushed. So anyway, fast forward, we get through Sunday nights, great. And then we, I wake up Sunday morning, and it's about 8 o'clock, and I was having these terrible pains, and I kept saying to Diane, geez, I feel like I have gas. Like, I just, I just need a fart. Something <laughs> wasn't right, and I'm on the floor. I'm trying everything, and, you know, and I couldn't eat or drink anything. And fast forward, it got to be about 10, 10.30, and I said, I have to go. I have to be back at the office before mm -hmm. 1. And she's like, are you sure you're all right? And I, I kind of started sweating a little bit. And I thought, yeah, just something, something didn't agree with me. So I get in my car. I have a little bit over a two-hour ride up uh, Route 80 West and from New Jersey. So I'm driving. And I, at one point, I pulled over mm -hmm. because I thought I had to throw up. I just was in like kind of a lot of pain. But I kept sweating profusely. It was bad. So I get to my office. And I pulled up. And I'm literally like drenched in sweat. And it was about a 10 to 1, and my boss was not happy because, you know, he wanted to, he had a closing at 1 o'clock, and I got out of the car, and I said to him, you know, Joe, I said, something's not right, and he's like, ah, maybe, whatever, he mumbled, and he left. He thought I was hungover, and I'm like, yeah. I was at a baby shower. You can't be hungover from a baby shower. So I go in the office, and I make it to my desk, and it's only myself and a warehouse guy, and he was in the warehouse, and I, I went to the bathroom because I thought I had to go to the bathroom. And I come back out, and I couldn't make it. I laid on the floor, and Patrick came over, and he's like, what's the matter with you? I go, ah, I got a little gas. I can't seem to get He's like, you don't look good. And I was literally, it was almost like that's that the thing you see where the, the water's pouring out of you. So he decided to take me to the hospital. Of course, I tell him, don't tell anybody, because I don't want anybody to know. I don't want anybody to worry. I'm right. sure it's fine. I just have gas, you know, whatever. <laughs> So we're driving. To, just we're, fart. we're driving to Moses, and I said to him, he's like, I gotta call somebody, and of course I don't want to bother my daughters, and uh, only one was local, the other two were out of town. So I said, you know what? Let's call my friend Val, not realizing she was out of town. Right. But I, I just said to her, you know, I'm taking me to the hospital. So I'm sure it's nothing. Blah blah blah. We get to the hospital. From that point on, it's all a blur to me. Right. As Kelly will now tell you what happened. It was a chain of events. Right. What so happened Val calls point. Patty, and then Patty calls me, and then the phone calls go out to all the wine girls, and we find out she's in the ER, and they don't know what's going on. So I get down there, and by the time I get down to the ER, there's already three other wine girls in the room with you. So we're in there. And you were in an extraordinary amount of pain, and you were on all fours. You got out of the bed, you're on the floor, on all fours, look like the exorcist, staring right at me going, help me. So the PA comes in, and he's thinking she's drug-seeking, but that's the state of affairs today. That's how we ours are. And I said to him, no, I can tell you with great certainty that she is not. She's in pain. We need to do something. So Patty comes down, and she has a lot of connections with doctors, so she calls Dr. Bannon, and Dr. Bannon orders all kinds of tests. And the next thing you know, here he comes, and he's wheeling her into emergency surgery. He said, uh, we got to get her into surgery. So he gets her into the surgery. He, um, he finishes up. We're all in the waiting room. There's 16 of us in the waiting room. And he comes in, and as he walks into the waiting room, he gasps, and he's like, are you all here for Kathy? And we're like, yeah. And he said anybody family and her daughter was there at the time Taylor was there at the time and Taylor said well I'm her daughter but you can talk to these women as if they're family because that's how she feels they are so he did and he proceeded to tell us what he did and he said that you know she was okay and she got through surgery all right but it was life-threatening it was it was an emergency thing what she had was called a volvulus 
which your intestine is twisting upon itself. And when it does that, it cuts circulation off to the rest of the test intestine, causes it to become necrotic and die. And if that happens, you die. So he said that he got in there, it was starting to turn, he was able to pink it up, he was okay, she didn't need, you know, she didn't need to have a resection, she was very, very lucky that she got through that. But he was so amazed by the amount of support that was in that room, and we were all there. And then he literally let us all go back to see her in, in small groups, right? We didn't go all, all at once, but he let us go in a couple at a time. And he just was amazed. He said, I've never seen so many people non-related in the surgical waiting room. Yeah. And it's been four years. And yeah. every time we talk or tell the yep. story, it, it, it touches it's, me yeah. because I know I have wonderful friends. I yes. say this all yes, the time, you do. Yes, you do. Um, but when you're in that situation and, uh, you know, afterwards you realize how serious it was. And right, then right. To see the amount of, of, of love that I felt and right. still feel, it uh, it touches me constantly. And I yeah. can't, I get very but that's emotional how, that's about how we it. are. We're, 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 you know, whatever yeah. situation anybody is in, at the drop of a hat, you can call any one of us. We can call, we can call one another and, and you, you know, the... the the call goes out and you're there. But the there. bright side of the story is I can always find a bright side is... Uh, <laughs> I was not ready to go. Good Lord, that big guy is not nope. ready for me by any means, nope. and I am truly grateful <laughs> for my friendships. I really yeah. am. Um, yeah. I I love my ladies. This yeah. one has been by me through more than she probably should have. But um, I'm that paying, particular I'm paying you back. <laughs> that particular <laughs> incident touches my heart to this yeah. day, and like I said, it's been a few years, mm -hmm. and uh, I realize how loved I am. Yeah. And maybe, maybe just a little bit. I mean something to a couple uh, people, you, do. you know. Uh, you and do. Uh, See, you know I'm that. glad to be here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm glad to share that story because yes. this is what our bond is about. And you the know, friendships, we're, right? We're, right. We're and not how important friendships as you get older are. They really are because you know life is crazy. We all mm -hmm. go off on tangents and everything. But with that, I'm still here. So you know, She's it's all good. Still standing. And I have a great <laughs> group of support, a great group of mm -hmm. friends on so many different levels. Mm -hmm. So Wait we just that. wanted to share that little bit. And it was a little emotional, but no, you know what? Cheers. It's all good. Cheers. Thank you. Listen and to us. We out. We out.